Hey, what's going on everyone? Mark Bruce with Fit Strength Performance. And I'm gonna talk about three different change of direction drills that I like to do with my basketball players. These are gonna be movements that are gonna assist with being able to stabilize when changing direction, being able to load your feet appropriately and load your hips and knees and your entire body when trying to shift from left to right, but then also challenge what the foot should do based on the type of run you're gonna do, right? So we're gonna do a zigzag run, we're gonna do a curved run, and then we're gonna do a continuous crossover step um, reverse run. So stay tuned and I'm gonna demo all three of these movements and talk about the, the whys and KPIs that I look for with my athletes. The first one we're gonna do is a zigzag run. So I have six cones set up. You can do this outside in the field. You can do this in smaller areas. Right here I'm in a basketball gym um, because I'll do this with a lot of basketball players. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on one side of the cone and a lot of the things that I like to prepare my athletes to be able to handle are gonna be this idea of a plyo step, right? I'm trying to do that negative to positive step as I change direction. So if you notice that I'm at this cone, right, I'm gonna do that negative step to load and be able to run to the next cone. And when I get there, I'm gonna stabilize and stop so I can develop that ability to reposition myself depending on what I have to do in sport. So if I'm here, the first, the first drill is gonna be just cut to the right and then stop and stick at the next cone. So I'm here, sprint, stop. Here, stop. Here, stop. Pop. Here, stop. Here, and stop. So as you notice, as, I, as I'm doing this drill, I'm doing that negative step. So if we look at this one line, I'm right there, right? So you notice I have that negative to a positive, so I'm really working on being able to balance under control and then reposition my body as I go. So once we're able to handle that, we'll go all the way through the zigzag drill. So I'm here, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop, chop, pop. Right, so I'm sprinting all the way through, trying to reset my feet and then do that negative to positive plyo step. Because even in a game, Right, I may be here and I may have to go this way, even if I'm coming this way, I may still go that way depending on what I have to do. Right, if I have the basketball, right, I may come here and, and still have to do that negative to positive. So that's gonna be that zigzag run. Right, so the next one is gonna be that curve run. Similar mentality of um, being able to sprint right to left, changing direction, but we're doing that curve run. I love this drill because it really challenges the foot to pronate and supinate and make sure that we're staying tight to that curve that we're gonna do, right? We have another video where we did that curve run around the three-point line. A lot of people do that curved run in a big circle. We'll also do this in that zigzag fashion. So what I'm gonna do is gonna curve around the cone. For my younger kids, I may call this a snake run. So if you notice here, I'm gonna sprint and I'm coming around, coming around, coming around coming around, right? So we're going around the cone, ready? If you notice if I'm coming around this cone, right? Notice this foot really is challenged to keep me going in that direction. Same thing coming here. This foot is challenged uh, alongside with the, the integrity of the knee and the hip, those joints right there. Because in sport, you know, even in basketball, you may do a backdoor cut to get it, or you may come around for a screen to knock down that shot. So I really like that curve run. So if you watch again, I'm here just coming, coming around, coming around, coming around, and we're going around. You can make this as long as you want, you know, so you can really stretch out where the cones are for the sake of what we're doing right now. It's just the, the width um, of the three second lane. So that's gonna be our curved run. So next. Next one, our last one is gonna be that, um, this is a drill where it's our crossover retreat run. So now we're thinking defense, right? So I'm gonna be here, running to the cone, crossover step, really working on that hip turn. Because we think of defense, whether you're a cornerback, safety, or playing basketball, right? You might be here, long toss, skip pass, you gotta reposition, or you're playing someone full court, they're slow dribbling you down, 
full court trying to probe where you are and then they really hit to go by you so you might be here then all of a sudden you have to turn those hips to get back in front so with these cones what we're going to do is i'm going to face forward and i'm here hit turn hit turn hit turn hit turn and i'm pivoting those feet and the things that i see athletes struggle with so if i started this orange cone right here with this drill you get an athlete that they try to do this stepping over instead of really working on that hip turn to get to the next spot reposition hip turn in that crossover step because if i get to this spot plant here and i try to do this right think of a field athlete with cleats that could be a knee, knee injury or just effectively if I, someone changes direction and i'm here right they have me beat that's a half step that's a half second it's over with so i'm here reposition pop gone come in here reposition pop and that's where we do those hip turns and those crossover steps hope that helps add that into your training plan see your see your athleticism see your ability to um, change direction and improve drastically